Air potato is an invasive vine that was brought in actually on purpose into Florida as a horticultural plant or for an intended use as a horticultural plant. And it's a vine that can grow up to 60 or 70 feet in length. It's extremely fast growing. It can grow up to eight inches a day. And so it can quickly grow over the top of our trees and smother our native vegetation. Before biocontrol, people usually spray with herbicides like glyphosate. They also do a lot of hand pulling, hand pulling them out of trees and pulling them out of the ground. It spreads through air, the actual air potatoes, so they're called bulbils. And so they are born in the, in the axles of these leaves. And in the winter, when the leaves or when the vines die back, these bulbils actually fall out of the trees and then they lay on the ground until spring when they germinate and produce more vines. The beetle that we're using right now is Liliaceris chenai or the air potato leaf beetle and it was originally discovered in Nepal and brought in by USDA ARS and they did testing on it and found that it was host specific and were given permission to release it. The adult beetles actually feed on the leaves, but then they mate and they lay eggs. And when the eggs hatch, the larvae actually feed voraciously on the leaves of these plants and can really take down whole vines because they feed so much. The air potato leaf beetle has spread really well. We have a mass rearing and release program that you can actually go online and request beetles if you have air potato. And so we also, so it's human mediated spread also right now, but they have been extremely successful in a short amount of time since they've been released. And we're very happy with the success of the program so far. The biological control is a really good treatment for invasive plants because it's sustainable. It's safe because we do all of the testing on it. And once we release these insects, they won't feed on anything else. They're self-perpetuating. And so they're out there working without us having to go back and respray or re-release more beetles. So they make more beetles and they have the ability to find their host plant on their own. So we don't have to go and release insects in every single population of air potato. They can find it on their own.